Hello and welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Ronnie and a couple of uploads ago, I put up a video where my buddy and Austin and I went out and pretty much did some tricks on our electric skateboards and one wheels respectively. And how, how should I put this? Some people didn't like that at all. Some of the comments I got on that video were, oof, this is hard to watch. You guys aren't supposed to do tricks on these things. And that Austin guy is sexy and uh, True. But after hearing that, I just couldn't help but to think, you're wrong. <laughs> Doing tricks and thrashing your board around is sort of part of the sport of any kind of skateboarding. If that's not your thing, then that's not your thing. It just so happens to be mine, our thing. And because it's such a beautiful day today outside, why not do some more tricks? But this time we're gonna take it a little bit easy. Uh, instead of just doing any skateboard trick that I wanna do on a board, we're gonna do the 10 easiest skateboard tricks ever. But the catch is, oh my God. <laughs> We're gonna do it on this 18 pound, heavy as butt electric skateboard. <sighs> I found this video on YouTube from VL Skate, awesome content creator by the way. If you're just starting out on a regular skateboard, definitely check him out. His tips are super useful. But he has this video of the 10 easiest tricks. We are gonna do all 10 of those on this board. All right, let's check these tricks out. Here are 10 easy tricks to make beginners look good. Oh, we're gonna be looking good. First off is the Chinese nollie. That's the first this easy trick. This is an trick. easy, cool looking trick to pull when you're just cruising around. All you have to do is give okay. the board a little push forward. I think I can do that. The front wheels off I've of done the track. it before And this will cause the board to pop boards. up off the ground. You really don't oh, need man. to know any other tricks for this other than being able to do a little hop on the nose of your board. Just a hop? Just keep in mind that you're not actually hitting the nose on the ground to do a nollie. Okay. You're just barely lifting the back wheels up. Hey, and we can do that. I think we can do that. The first trick is the Chinese nollie. Let's go. Even though I'm on this 18 pound electric skateboard, I don't think the weight is gonna be the hardest thing about doing this trick. I think it's gonna be finding some good crack. Not that kind of crack. We gotta, we gotta find some street crack. Wait, I found this, I guess you could call it a crack. There's some grass on there. There's a little bit of a hip, like, I think, I think it'll bounce. Let's give it a shot. I barely have a nose to do this on. It's so little, but anyways, here's attempt number one. Oh, oh. Not really the greatest example, but technically we did it. You know the popular saying, four times the charm. Oh. That was a good one. Okay. <laughs> I think that first trick went pretty well considering how heavy the board was, but let's go ahead and move on to the next trick. Number two, the Bibelheimer. This one isn't really a trick, but it's a cool way to jump on your board and maybe start off a line. This one involves just okay. throwing the board upside down, having it hit the I don't think there's skill involved with this one. Up. All you have to do I think is it might all just be like luck. This, with your thumb on the bottom of the Thank nose, you, I appreciate it. On the opposite side. And it's always great to have supporters. So that the grip tape will hit the ground when you throw it down. And the most important part right, run is just to and sure throw. The angled slightly to the left or the right. Seems easy enough. Down, and that's Let's get it. Trick number two, Bibelheimer. All right, so I just got to throw it down and hopefully it lands upright and roll away. The problem with that is camera and remote in one hand. All right, let's do this. Oy vey, this thing is heavy. Okay. <laughs> Why did it look so much easier on video? Oh! What? I should have finished the entire tutorial. Oh, that was it. Woo! Okay, we're getting the flip. Uh, its weight makes it flip so slow. You know what? We have a motor. We don't need to have a running start. What are we doing? Drop it. Ah. Drop it. No. <laughs> and flip. There it is. No. 
I'm just thrashing my board. Oh, yes. There we go. Oh, yes. Just in time, too. I was just about to look like an idiot in front of these people walking their lovely dogs. That, I don't even know if you can call it a trick, took me way longer than I'm willing to admit. But I'm ready to go ahead and move on to the next one. Number three is the Nolly Shove It. Oh, Nolly Shove It? In my opinion, this is the easiest of all of the Shove Oh, heck yeah, it is the easiest. You barely even Yo, have to we got those the all day. You don't even have to pop I don't even need to watch the rest of this. All it takes is this Let's go, Nolly Shove. Yo, we got Nolly Shoves on lock. I can do it with my big camera in hand easily. First try. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, disregard that attempt. Woohoo! Hey! <laughs> And for those of you saying that I'm cheating because I'm not using the nose. <laughs> Probably one of the easiest actual real tricks that you can do on an electric skateboard. They feel good to do too, especially when you have a kicktail. But I'm ready to move on to trick number four. Let's check it out. Number four is the boneless. Oh, boneless? Another really easy trick because you don't hey. have to pop the board. Ooh, we tweaked that out too. That looks sick. This is a fun oh, trick yeah. to take down gaps or over things. And you really don't need to know any other tricks before this one. Okay, let's do it. All it really takes I'm down. Is setting your feet up. I'm ready to go. I am rev. Yeah. Yeah. We had a couple of easy tricks in a row. I'm super stoked about that. Let's go to move on to the next one. Hopefully it's not too hard. Trick number five is the fakie front side 180. As long as you can ride fakie and pop your board, your momentum basically does I the rest of it. can ride fakie. This trick can be done front side. I don't know if I can pop my board. Front side is the easiest. <sighs> popping way, this, this trick is super easy. Popping this heavy board is just so hard and also big wheels, little tail. That's not pop friendly, but we have to give it a try. So our pop game is going to be straight up trash, but I don't have any other redeeming qualities to finish that sentence. But we're going to give it a shot. Oh, hey now. Okay. Okay. That one actually popped. That one counts for sure. Wouldn't it be great if by doing this, my regular skating was like super high because of this heavy board? It's like Goku training or something. But let's go ahead and move on to the next trick. Number six is the hippie jump. Another really easy trick which I can be used to look really cool if you're in a line or just while you're cruising. This uh, trick is so easy because really all you need to know how to do is Yeah, jump. all you need to know how to do is jump. I got it, I got it. I hate jumping. All right, whatever, let's do this. Let's just make it quick. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. All right, folks, let's do this. I hate that trick, but that was admittedly pretty fun. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and move on to the next trick. Trick number seven is the rail stand. Also uh, known as a primo, this trick is basically the basis of um, a lot of other freestyle tricks. But this very basic version of it, of just going up and back down, is still considered uh, a trick and it's a lot of fun to do. Uh, Trick eight is the fakie Casper flop. Casper flop? I'm pretty sure that's not a real name for it, but I'm not Whoa. sure what to call it. Whoa. Basically using the same pressure mechanic with your front foot that what? you did in the rail stand, you use that to flip the board over onto its back. I'm gonna crush my feet. Your back foot my toes are gonna die. It's a lot easier than it sounds, and all it really takes all right, is VL skate. while standing It's a lot easier than it time. sounds. Heavy board should be no problem then. I can't get enough pressure. My big longboard wheels and trucks are don't do it. No. No. Yeah, I don't know if this one's working out for me, Chief. Not worth it. Ah. Don't recommend doing it on electric boards unless you want to chop your toes off. Trick number nine, you've probably seen a lot of variations of these recently, 
is the 180 no comply. Oh yeah. This is a relatively easy trick. That one I dig. No I'm bad at it. But I totally dig those. And you get to put it on the ground uh, for a second. Let's go VL skate. Instead of having to actually pop the board and stay in the air. Hey. It's a pretty All simple right. concept that's basically... I actually know how to do that one. That one's actually really plausible on electric boards. Let's do it. I'm stoked. Ah! <laughs> Ronnie. What up? Oh, really? Yeah. Hey, appreciate it, man. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. Those guys saw me fall, heard me laugh, and uh, turns out the dude in there watches the videos. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing, bro? This no complies for you. Whoa! <laughs> Why not, right? A little no complies are always fun no matter what board you're riding. And finally, trick number 10, which is actually not really even a trick, is the nose pick up. Nose pick up? So if pick you up? mastered picking up your board the normal way, and this might be the hardest trick of all considering the board's so foot. heavy. This is basically the opposite version of that, which can be done a lot quicker uh, if you're cruising really fast. And I think it kind of looks cool. Uh, basically, while you're I can rolling, see this you situate your front foot onto uh -oh. the nose, facing straight forward, and you pop straight we barely down have with a your nose toes too. and reach down and grab the board. We might have to use really the tail. really not too much to this other than... No! Good grief, I have such a little nose! Ooh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, uh, mall grab, but with an electric skateboard, I think it's appropriate. <laughs> with this board being about three times heavier than a regular skateboard, I think we did fairly well for those 10 tricks. I mean, of course, there was that one that we just couldn't do, but I did have a lot of fun doing those tricks, and that's sort of the reason why. I do tricks no matter what the board. Yes, you can just ride your board, sure. That's exactly what these boards are made for, riding around, cruising, commuting. But if you want to do tricks on it, go ahead, you're not doing something wrong. Tricks and skateboarding sort of just go hand in hand, so have fun with your board, whether you're just riding around, doing tricks, do whatever you want, man. It's your life, your board, do what you want with it. You know, for the most part, it was actually kind of easy to do those tricks. And I actually did have a pretty good time doing it. If you guys want to see me do more of those tricks, maybe we can do an advanced level of skateboard tricks on an electric skateboard. Go ahead and leave some trick requests in the comments section down below, and I'll dedicate a whole video trying to do every single trick you guys leave in the comments. That would be a lot of fun. Yeah, let's definitely do that. Anyways, guys, I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, thumbs up. If you hate it, thumbs down, I guess. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to be a part of the Stoked Squad. And until next time, guys, stay stoked. I'm out. Peace. Oh, yeah.